ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? My name is DJ A9ZT, and we're back with WWE Champions in another five-star bronze character gameplay preview video. And today we got Beth Phoenix, the the Glamazon, and we're gonna get into her. And man, she's pretty dope, dude. I gotta tell you, I enjoy using her on here. She's got a couple of super solid builds, and I'm excited to show you guys. So let's get into it. Here we go. All right, the Ruthless Aggression Era. And we got the Glamazon back here doing her classic little pose. She doesn't do much else there, though. Nothing flips around or anything. It's quite all right. I don't know. She, some people got a fancy cape I can flip around and make it uh, land on their front or something like that. Not Beth. Nothing for DJ to play with in the lobby area here, so... There's no other gear other than her standard gear. So let's get into the poster and look. Training ability, yellow moves start with two more move points at 5K. And then if you get her to 9K, yellow moves start with two more points. And blue moves also start with a move point. So when we're looking at move sets, we'll remember the pendulum backbreaker green. That's going to be a four-star move, and the military press drop is going to be the five-star move. Links and gear, as of now, she's only got the Ruthless Aggression Era link, so matching any color gems will charge those moves faster. So let's get into the first move set we're going to use here. I do got the military press drop on, so this is the five-star move set right here. Uh, three star move set wouldn't work quite as well. We're gonna do a five star set and a four star set, and uh, so the military press drop level fourteen there red move four charge deal twenty thousand two forty nine damage, and decrease your countdown gem timers by five. We got the slingshot suplex black move eight charge deal fifty thousand seven hundred ninety five damage and choose one gem to make into a seven turn countdown gem. That will deal zero damage and make 20 random gems into blast gems. Then we got the Indian Deathlock Surfboard, Black Move 8 Charge, Sub. Place five sub gems and do 10,467 damage for six turns while remaining gems are on the gem board. Uh, remaining sub gems will turn into multiply gems of strength two. So the idea is you fill the black moves up, you get her war down with the sub, then you put the countdown gem timers move on. You hit the military press drop. Bada boom. Board full of blast gems. You blow it all up. Rinse. Repeat. So I'm going with Bray and Zombie Owens on here. Super common trainers. And I got Typhoon to coach because he does blast gems 25% more damage and red gems more damage. And she features red as she's a powerhouse. So... We're going to do a nine turn sub to give us time to set up our other combo. And we're going to go out here, normal mode, Royal Rumble, match two against China. And we're going to give this a whirl here. That red move being a four charge. You don't even need X-Pac or anything. Anytime you break red the following turn, it is going to be ready to go. Now, you're looking for blue, uh, black on turn one. We didn't get that, but we did get quite the nice little combo there. Baseline there was 105,000, so gem damage looking pretty good. Now, this move isn't going to do us no good without... The countdown gem. Ooh, I can't talk without the countdown gems on the board. So, getting a reshuffle already. That's how terrible it's looking. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and hit it now just to do the damage because I'm about to break red here and fill it right back up. Well, she didn't do a whole lot there. I'm going to go ahead and get this sub down. 
Notice I'm putting my sub gems on black gems, because black's what I'd want to refill if I had to. And remaining sub gems will be multiply gems. So if I can help it, I want the black gems to be those uh, multiply gems. She should have no move points left coming out of this. Although, the AI is usually pretty smart and set themselves up with something to break, but not there, she didn't. All right, we're going to make one gem into this countdown gem. I'm going to pick a bottom corner that can't be broken currently. I'm going to go ahead and hit this right away. All right, next turn, we will be able to hit that sub anyways, but we're going to have all this. Oh, no, no, no. We can do it right now. Boom. There comes all the blast gems now. Let's not do the sub with this many blast gems on the board. Let's try to. Bah! <laughs> 244,000 damage, and she is all full again. She is all full again. Beth Phoenix is the truth here. That setup can go for long matches with that long sub, but if she gets the right setup, she can just bop somebody really quickly with that. Oh, I got to yawn so bad. I cannot stop yawning. Oh. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at another move set with her. All right, so we do got these green moves down here we're going to use. Okay, totally different set of moves here. Here's the move we're not going to use. There's a red move, Fisherman Suplex, deal 35,695 damage and make five random blue gems into green gems. You could put that in with the greens if you're trying to recycle. If you're going against somebody who's going to be throwing a lot of blue on the board, might not be a bad idea. But in general, I want to just try it this way. So, we got the finisher, the Glam Slam, red move, 12 charge, deal, 86,134 damage, and choose a 3x6 area to destroy. That's a good 100k, guaranteed. Uh, we got the Canadian Backbreaker, green move, 9 charge, deal 37,719 damage and make two random red gems into crossbreak gems. Then we got the Pendulum Backbreaker, 9 charge, green, deal 34,672 damage and choose two cross gem break, cross break gems to destroy. So we want to get a totally different lineup here. We're going to go move charge. Uh, George Steele and we are going to get Cactus Jack on here. Jack at 9k now lets us uh, destroy more crossbreak gems and make more crossbreak gems. So, oh. You know what, with this setup, we can absolutely go with Zombie Cena on here coaching too. Because that's going to make the extra crossbreak gem to even those out. So now we make five red and we can choose five to destroy. And also crossbreak gems are going to do extra damage if you got Zombie Cena on there. So let's give this match one more try. With uh, This is the four star setup right here. You wouldn't unlock the other green move until four. So Remember the first move set only for five star because if you can't knock five turns off that seven turn countdown it's just not gonna make it it won't all right so we do get green on turn one that's absolutely wonderful and there's enough red on the board to fill these up so we'll make five random red into cross break here there's just five on the board now we get to choose five to destroy
Not bad. Red's done there. Red's full. All right, China's out. And she's charged, so she said, you better bring it this turn. Now, look, the greens are almost charged. Let's go with that Glam Slam. I know we're choosing an area to destroy. All right, we'll count them in there. That's five. And that's five. And that's five, but it also has red, so we'll go with that. Hundred and ten K hit. I don't think she's out, guys. I think she's done. What do you guys think about Beth Phoenix? You guys hyped to get her? Uh you probably got her in the feud a lot of you over the weekend as uh some of these rewards are for this contest or whatever, so what do you guys think about her, man? I think she is absolutely awesome and definitely somebody I'm definitely going to build on my roster. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you're new to the channel, go ahead, go right down below the video player. Big red button looks just like this and subscribe to the channel, guys. It helps me out tremendously. You have no idea. So thank you for all the support. And until next time, guys, peace. <laughs> Thank you.